This is our item number 1166 iPad wireless switch interface. This interface is a Bluetooth connected device which allows you to use between one and two switches with your iPad. So today I would like to show you how to set it up with the iPad and take you through a few assistive apps and also how you can control YouTube videos. Okay, before we get started, I wanna show you a quick overview of the interface, all the controls and the ports. So this is a lithium ion rechargeable device, so there's no batteries required. You charge this with the included micro USB charging cable and you can use that with any USB charging adapter such as what your iPad comes with. You can remove the iPad cable, plug in the USB cable to charge it. Charging ports right here in the front or on the top. It takes about three hours to charge. You have two ports here for your own external switches. Most assistive apps use single switch, but there are some apps that require two steps like sounding board and ProLoco to go, where you need to make a selection. Also, when you're using this for media playback, such as YouTube or iTunes, you have the ability to do play pause with one jack and next track with the second jack. Here on the front, you have your power LED and also the Bluetooth indicator. Here's your power switch, and here is your mode changer. You'll use this when you need to change from the assistive mode, which is mode five, to mode four if you wanna use iTunes or YouTube. So let's get started and show you how to set everything up. So the first thing you wanna do is power up your interface. Press the power button. It's gonna start flashing blue to indicate that it's powered up. And then on your iPad, you wanna go over to your settings. So the next thing you wanna do is go to Bluetooth and make sure it's turned on. Okay. And then it'll come up here as in a discoverable device. Once you see that, tap on it. It's gonna take a second or so. It'll ask if you wanna pair. Click okay or tap okay. Okay, now it shows it's connected. One other note is there is assistive technology mode on the iPad. When you're using switch-friendly apps, you want to make sure that switch control is turned off. So that goes under general, under accessibilities. Just want to make sure that switch control is turned off, which it is, and then you can get out of here. Do you want to double check what mode you're in? The default mode is mode five, which is the assistive technology mode. But the easiest way to check that is right here in the iPad's built-in notes app. So in mode five, what the interface is gonna send to the iPad is the space enter keys. So what you wanna do is tap on a new note, make sure your cursor is flashing. So if you plug a switch into port one, two here, that's going to replicate hitting the space bar, which it's doing. And then if you plug a second switch in into the port 3-4, that is going to replicate as if you were hitting the enter key. So the cursor is going to drop down the page. So we know we're perfectly set up here for that. And we can close this out. The iPad wireless switch interface has four modes. Modes four and five are utilized for the iPad. Mode five is known as the assistive technology mode, which replicates the space enter key and is used for switch friendly apps. Mode four is media, which allows you to play pause and go to next track for YouTube and also for iTunes. Modes two and three are used for PC and Mac computers to work with Windows, Microsoft documents or PDF files for pages up and down or arrow up and down. There is no other available modes such as mode one. If you need to change the modes, you just press this mode selector. I normally recommend taking your switches out when you're changing modes. When you hold down this mode selector, you wanna hold it down for the number of red flashes for the mode. So for mode five, you would hold it down for five red flashes, let it go. Then you're gonna see both lights will flash five times to indicate it's the correct mode. 
So I'm just going to demonstrate. One, two, three, four, five, release. So you'll get both lights to flash the same amount. If you made a mistake and you went too many numbers or too low, just redo it again, nothing's gonna happen. So we're still in mode five. So I wanna show you how this works with the Switch Friendly app. And then I'm also gonna go back, change it to mode four to show you how it works with YouTube. So when we're going into this app, this is a very simple cause and effect app. It requires just one switch. And for a single switch, you always just plug into port number one, two. When you enter the app, every app's a little different, but this one's gonna ask you to check settings. And we're going to be using an assistive switch, so we wanna enable the switch. And then we can click X that out and hit play. So every time I hit my switch, it's going to do another function. Let me demonstrate. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to set this up to use for YouTube. So like I had said, whenever you change modes, remove your external switches. So we're gonna go back here and press the mode changer and we're gonna switch this to mode four, which is media. This again will work for YouTube, play pause, next video or next track, and also for iTunes, play pause, next track. So we're holding this down for four red flashes. One, two, three, four, release. Okay, now we're gonna use two switches for this. One, two uh, port is gonna be for play pause. And the second switch is going into port three, four, which will be the next video. You open up your YouTube app and we'll select the video. So again, the first switch is gonna play pause the video. Number 872. Second switch is gonna to move to, to the next video. Number 3133, soft shaggy switch. The soft shaggy switch works with any switch adapted item. Here. You can purchase this item through our website at enablingdevices.com or through our phone sales at 1-800-832-8697.